This is the Cuisinart Griddler Grill and Panini Maker. It's really easy to use, it's very compact in size, and it has some interesting features. So I'm going to open it up so you can see inside. It has a nice generous um, surface, but it's still very compact. What you can do is you can remove the plates so they can go in the dishwasher. And you just pop that back on. And on this side, there's a little knob on the side. You press that on the bottom side, and that's how you can remove the plate. Just tuck it back in and press it down. The other thing I want to show you is here on the side of the unit, there's a black button. And that button, when you press it in, it releases the handle, and you then lay it down flat, and the handle becomes the leg, and you have a nice wide cooking surface. So if you want, you could do vegetables on this side, and maybe a piece of chicken or fish on that side. You can um, mix it up. You can um, you know, do four nice generous sized burgers if you like. It's really convenient and easy to use. I'm going to turn this around. I'm going to show you something in the front. Here there are two little legs and you just twist these and move them to the top. And then what that does is actually um, puts the machine at a little bit of an angle. And that way if you're cooking something really juicy or a little bit fatty, it actually helps aid in um, moving the juices to the drip tray. And speaking of the drip tray, it's integrated. It's right here in the front. You could just pull it out to clean it and slide it back in when you're done. So the other thing I want to mention too is that it's one temperature and I don't have it on right now, but in a few minutes I'm going to show you, I'm going to plug it in. I just left it cool right now so that I could go over the product with you. But what'll happen is it has a green light and the red light and it'll let you know when the power is on and when the unit's up to temperature and it's ready to cook. This Griddler Grill and Panini Maker is set at one temperature. It makes it really easy and foolproof for you to cook any item that you're making um, without having to worry about what the temperature needs to be set at. So what I'm going to do is show you the front. This is your handle. And like I said, it becomes your leg when you open it all the way. It has a nice brush exterior. It also has a cord wrap in the back, so it's easy to store your cord. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just take them in, I'm going to plug it in, and then we're going to come back and I'm going to make a beautiful panini for you. So let's go ahead and make a brujuto mozzarella and tomato panini. I'm just going to open the unit up. Now I just want to point out, you notice the red light's on and so is the green light. I heated it up. The red light lets you know you have power. The green light lets you know you're up to temperature. So what we're going to do, it's really simple and easy. As, um, just a little bit, you don't have to do this. Um, it just helps sometimes to, uh, that it browns nicer. Just put a little bit of olive oil on the outside of the bread. Um, personally, I don't actually um, add the olive oil myself, but a lot of people prefer that it get a little brown when they do it. So get two little nice little slices of cheese. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add our ham. And when you make paninis, you know, you can make it with anything you want. You can use chicken, like I said, ham. You can actually make Cubans. You want to make a Cuban sandwich there. I'm going to put a couple of tomatoes on. And then what we're going to do is add a little bit of basil for color and flavor. Just put little tops on and then baste the tops really quick with a little olive oil. And what we're going to do is we're going to close it. Just want to make sure this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to let it cook a little bit. We're going to come back and check on it. So let's check on our panini. Just going to move these over here and open the lid. And they're nice and melted and nice and gooey. I'll lay that down there. This one's got a little squished, but I'll actually get it off. Now, the other thing too is um, I didn't mention that these plates are coated. They go right in the dishwasher. So it's really easy to get sticky cheese off because you have a, a coated cooking surface there. So there you have it. The Cuisinart Griddler Grill and Panini Sandwich Maker. It's a great item to have in the house. You can make a quick meal, very little time, very little cleanup.